have you ever wondered on how many surfaces there are to a teeth or you've heard your d dentist say yes the mesial of side of the tooth and you just do not know what he's talking about well my name is Michelle and I'm a dental assistant with solutions and I'm here to help you understand the five different surfaces of a teeth um, basically um, you have five different surfaces um, you have the first surface is the mesial surface um, which is the part of the tooth that is closest to the midline of, of your mouth and the midline is basically it's an imaginary line that you div that divides your teeth in halves and, and by quarters so the mesial surface is the surface that's closest to the midline the distal surface is the surface that is farthest from the midline so you have to kind of think the distance from the midline um, you have what we call the clusal surface which is the chewing surface of the midline um, and then also to the lingual surface which is the back part of your tooth um, and then the buccal surface which is the facial or it's also known as the facial surface of your teeth. Um, the main reasons uh, for listing different surfaces is basically for communication purposes for the doctor and the assistant um, and also for tracking purposes of exactly if you have a cavity where it's located on the tooth um, you might have a small cavity that's like just on the closal surface of your tooth. So th in that case, then all you need to do is just replace that one surface of the tooth. Um, and same distance, if you have a two surface cavity filling, you know, they would say a closal buckle, which means the chewing surface and the facial part of your tooth. But once again, my name is Michelle. I'm a dental assistant with Solutions, and I just explained to you the five different surfaces of your teeth.